hello children black again with the play mother's day and this is the second part and the last part is play now let us see what will happen after they change the personality okay now mrs fitzgerald who is having pearson's personality she went back she goes back to fitzgerald's home and Mrs. Pearson, who was wearing Fitzgerald's person personality, she sat on the sofa enjoying her cigarette and drink. While while Doris Pearson she enters, when she enters, initially she didn't notice her mother. She just came and threw her things and asked her mother whether tea is ready. Where she has ironed the silk dress. Now she told why she has to iron. She can do herself. So they had some heated talk like this, and then she also she also prayed towards on daughter. She told that why you have to go out with that uh, Charlie Spencer, with that buck teeth fellow. Why can't you get some better fellow? This and that, and. Uh, Dory, she felt insulted and she felt bad also that why her mother has to insult Charlie. She went crying inside the house, and uh, so they had some heat talk like this. And now, now it was time for Cyril to enter. When Cyril entered, the same thing happened. He came inside and he asked, "Hello, mom. My tea is ready." No, why not? You can make it yourself. And she told, "I had mine, I had mine share already. Now, if you want yours, you can make it yours yourself." So, even he was surprised. He was surprised because he never saw her. He never saw his mother in this way. Okay. So after that, Doris and Cyril, both brothers and sisters, they exchanged some talk. They were surprised, and they were thinking, "Why? What has happened to mother? She had never been like this before." And they were just uh, talking to themselves about the things, about the behavior, about the change of behavior they noticed in mother. They told. That uh, why she was having the drink, why she was this, why she was that, and she never talked in such careless manner. So even they were thinking whether she had a knock on the head. That's why being so she has lost her sense. They even were assuming that she must have knocked her head somewhere and lost her sense. That's why she is talking in such. An eccentric manner, according to them. But both of them giggled together, and they told, "Wait, wait, wait! Now it's time for father to come. Then she'll come back to her sense." So, children, now it was. It was. Okay, there is a need to talk also, like uh, when we come to one point. When we come to one point, Doris she says. That uh, we come back home tired after working eight hours. Cyril also says that we work eight hours a day and come back home to find all these things. Then Mrs. Pearson she says eight hours a day. Okay. Then she says I have completed my eight hours in that way. If after coming back home doing eight hours of work, you want to relax, then I have done my share of eight hours. So now it's my turn to relax. Then why you were surprised? So, more or less, children they were alarmed because they did not expect. They have never seen this thing in the house. And uh, she told also. The children asked, "Okay, in case you have done your share of eight hours, it means what about Saturday and Sunday? Because we have Saturday and Sunday off." So they were just cutting a joke on mother. So jokingly they asked, "Okay, 
then what was saturday and sunday do you want that day off also then she told okay i might but i will not take that day off but i won't do full, i won't do full day of work i will just do you a favor and that of cooking some supper making bed doing some work here and then some light work but that too only if you request me if you ask me as a favor then only i will do that and means you should be obliged for that you should be thankful for my work then only i will do that favor to you then you merely they ask okay rose asks then would you go for a weekend also perhaps then she said of course why not day after day week after week i am also fed up stuck here if you can go out for the weekend why not me i can go out also so finally they were just thinking that okay just let's see father will be coming so now while they were having heat to talk and she was playing taunt on her children doris again went inside crying okay crying and uh, she was faced by her father her father george came and when he saw doris crying he was surprised said hello what's this can't be anything to cry it means why are you crying then doris told that you will see you will know so when he entered when he entered inside the room the hall then he asked pearson uh, he asked his wife she's telling you will see what does it mean what does it mean then mrs pearson says who was having the personality of fitzgerald she told that you go and ask her you go and ask herself she can tell what does she mean you better ask her so while she was telling that then uh then mr george pearson he noticed on the table and he was totally flabbergasted to see uh see a drink in her hand and then she asked what's that stout she did yes why not and he was surprised also because he never imagined he never thought and never saw like this so he was surprised to see her drink when she then he then she told sorry she told okay if all of you can have why not me it was so surprising and then for a change it would be nice to for a nice change okay then she told also it has been long time you have any surprise so take it as a surprise fine so he told for now george says by the way i forgot to to tell you that i'm going for a special snooker match at the club tonight and uh, after taking taking a bit of supper i will go okay so i won't have any tea so coolly coolly mrs pearson replied that's all right i didn't make any also then he was astonished what do you mean you didn't get the tea ready for me she said no why you so means why you so worried in any case you didn't want any also and i'm not going to make it for you also and she told that why he has to get alarm when at the first place he didn't want the tea but george pearson he got angry he got panicked because he was expecting the tea to be ready before he arrives because that was the usual thing which happens every day that when when it was their time to be back home as usually happens at every home the tea would be ready waiting for him but that day there was nothing of that sort so that's why he was a bit angry a bit angry then mrs pearson she mocked at husband then she told okay you want to go to 
a club, they will laugh at you even more than they do now. And it will laugh at me. Why? What are you? What are you telling? Do they laugh at me? Why should they laugh at me? Then his wife said, Yes, they laugh at you. They call you Pompey Pompey Pearson. Okay, because Mr. Pearson, Mr. George Pearson, he was a short and he was a plump and short man. Okay, so and he was not very active, slow moving. So that's why he told that at the club they used to call you Pompey Pompey Pearson. He got angry hearing that. He said, no, never, that's not possible. Not possible. So he says, okay. Then while they were having this talk, while she was mocking at, uh, playing jokes at uh, this uh, George, her wife, sorry, her husband, at the same time, cereal he entered with a glass of milk then mm, george he asked his son see see what your mother is telling she is telling me that at the club they call me like this is it true so he hesitated a bit cereal he hesitated a bit because that was the truth at the club they used to play joke at him so while he told, why, why, why keep quiet, just tell me, is it a truth, they go, do they call me like this? Then Cyril, he told, yes, that's the truth. Father, they call you like this. So, he became angry also, he went out. So, after that, okay, and Cyril and, uh, Cyril was telling his mother also, that you shouldn't have told like this to father because he got hurt. But he says, okay, it doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. He should know it that people don't respect him at the club. They make fun of him. Okay. As he was talking to his mother, there was a sharp knock at the door. Okay. There was a sharp knock at the door. <laughs> Then Cyril told, maybe somebody is for me, I will see. But as he opened the door, who was there? Mrs. Fitzgerald. But children, as you remember, they had, had interchanged the personality. Now Mrs. Fitzgerald, who was standing at the door, she was wearing the personality of Mrs. Pearson, that is their mother. But nobody knew that except those two ladies. So now Mrs. Pearson, the actual one, okay, actual one who is in the body of Mrs. Fitzgerald. She was at Fitzgerald's house, but all the while, all the while, she was very, very much restless because she was worried what must be happening at my house, what cows all must be created there, what Mrs. Fitzgerald must have told them. They, she must have made them upset and angry, this and that. So she came back to her own house. Okay, she came back there to see what how all must be going there. So she came there. The children didn't like her. The children didn't like her, and she went to uh, she went to Mrs. Pearson. The children left the place, and uh, at one instance. She, unknowingly, she called him George. Means Mrs. Fitzgerald, who was staying in Mrs. Pearson's house as Mrs. Pearson. So while having talk, she called uh, Mrs. George Pearson as George, as Mrs. Pearson used to tell. But this surprised George also. This surprised George also because her own wife, didn't use to call his name. So these small mistakes, but uh, nobody noticed. Fine. So there was a heated talk. George, Mrs. Fitzgerald, Mrs. Pearson, three of them sitting. <coughs> and after having some talk, some humorous talks, playing some chants and jokes, not pleasant jokes. Okay. Now it was time for Mr. George, 
is to person to leave that hall to leave both them alone because mrs pearson who was in the body of fizral she kept on insulting him and now this lady she could not stand any more that somebody is insulting her husband and at the same time mr pearson also felt embarrassed that in front of another lady means in front of uh, my neighbor my wife is insulting me and she keeps on mocking at me so feeling hurt he left the place and now doris also when he enters then mrs pearson she told because hmm, the real mrs pearson she couldn't stand it anymore and she kept on asking fisheral now let's get back to our original self now give me give the whole of my family back to me let me handle my family now because things are getting miserable i cannot stand i cannot stand uh, seeing the hurt feeling on the face of my children my husband so give my old self back to me let me handle my own way now mrs fisheral told no not now because somehow i have managed to teach them a lesson somehow i managed to bring them back to their own self bring them back to senses once you come back into your own house into your own role you will make everything a mess again then she told no 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 so after that mrs fisheral mrs fisheral was in the body of mrs pearson she made she made the real person promise that once she gives her personality back to her again she won't mess up the thing but she will handle the thing in the same way she left it means she will let them realize their role she will let them realize that she is also a human being in this house and whatever work she is doing in this house as housewife should be valid should be valid and she is not a puppet she is not a domestic servant so pearson she says okay okay i will remember that i'll remember that then she told the children that i want to talk to mrs fitzgerald i have some person talk i want to talk to her alone so would you just leave us alone for some time they closed the door she did the same thing back again she asked mrs pearson to give her hands she held her hands in her hand and she she recited the same magical words okay same magical words and after that both of them they they became relaxed and after being relaxed they became fresh and back again in their normal in their original personality now the body of mrs fitzgerald got back the personality of fitzgerald and mrs pearson she became her own original self now she was happy while she was happy mrs fitzgerald she told promise me one thing you will be uh means you will keep hold of everything and as i taught you <clears throat> let them handle things let them do things themselves so mrs pearson she told okay i will i'll remember that okay and then fisheral told promise me you won't be soft with them again otherwise everything will be wasted she told okay i will remember that i'll remember everything so and she was happy she was happy that uh, now she got back got uh, back hold of her own family again okay so now she asked fizeral asked now what do you want me now tell me what do you want them to do because today nobody had gone out the children as they usually used to do going out today everybody is home till now 
so now what do you want what do you what is your wish from them then pearson told that i want them to stay home she says okay fine but remember that and she told what else do you wish and she told i wish to have the supper made by children then fizeral told okay fine but remember that and be stern don't forget that and don't become loose again don't become soft again with their wishes so when the door is open the children they came okay the children came and uh, they looked at the mother now her mother mrs pearson she smiled back at children okay she smiled back at children by that time after seeing that role played uh, by the personality of israel the children they were a bit nervous mrs mr pearson also was a bit nervous to see his wife like that so all of them they were sitting but when mrs pearson entered entered in the group she smiled at them seeing mrs seeing mrs pearson smiling seeing their mother smiling the children they became relieved and they smiled back at her at the mother now mrs uh, pearson asked okay she asked that uh, what do you want us to do what do you want us to do what should we do now now mrs pearson she told that while you all of you are at home now let us all stay back here i want all of you to stay home today and while you are home today i want a nice family rami game with you because that's what she wanted she told that she hasn't played card for a long long time along with her family so she told i want all of us to have a nice a uh, family game of rummy together so the children told okay done we agree with, with that and even joe says okay fine that would be good so now she told that one more thing i want to have a talk with fa- father so we can just talk for some time and while i talk with him doris and cyril i want you to cook the dinner today cook the supper for the family today even that was agreed even that was agreed now while mrs fizeral was leaving the house she saw she looked at mrs pearson with small hint that okay don't forget what i told you don't be soft don't go back to you all away again if they are ready to listen to you let them realize let them listen so they can value you as a mother as a wife so that was in her look that's the way uh, fizera look at pearson that promise me okay and pearson she looked and promise and both of them they smiled together and mrs fizera she left the home so children that was the happy ending of mother's day the beautiful play which we study together today so give it a read a beautiful read just a matter of what hour and you will enjoy this and with the end of this chapter just remember one thing even though the housewives they do not earn but their work should be valued as a mother as a wife they should get the respect they owe so a mother a woman is also a human being just like any of us right so have a good day children bye for today